you think I don't crave the occasional well done or aren't you clever or even just a thank you? But I need encouragement and the occasional pat on the back too. Well, does that explain why you keep going to her? I'm not going to say her name. I'm worried if I do, I might spit. Camilla, what's she got to do? Well, that's what I keep asking myself. What's she got to do with anything? But obviously, she's got a lot to do with everything because you can't leave her alone. Well, she and her husband are close friends, not just of mine, but the whole family's. You remember I found your bracelet? The one with your nicknames engraved on it, Fred and Gladys. It was just harmless fun. Well, three days before our wedding, you gave that to her. And on our actual honeymoon, you wore the cufflinks that she gave you. With the interlocking initials, the two C's, interwoven and obscenely entwined like lovers. And on the same honeymoon, a photograph of her falls out of your diary. And then later in the year, I find your love letters, page after page of the passion I'm not getting from no, you. Because you show no interest in me. Like, you refuse to come to Highgrove, where I'm happiest. Yes, because she is there. Oh, and not just her, but the gardens and the polo and the hunts and the boring old philosophers and father substitutes who patronise me and ignore me, but love her, presumably. Which is why the two of you are perfect for each other. So where do I fit in? You fit in because you're my wife. And... Because... I love you. I... I do. I do. Gosh. So... How are we going to solve it? Well... Well, I suppose... I suppose we've got to learn to give it to each other on a more regular basis. <laughs> the encouragement, I mean. And the other thing. Oh, yes, that too. So I still think you're gorgeous. The cleverest, handsomest man in every room. Do you really? Oh, pathetic. But I do need that sometimes. And you look gorgeous too. Your beauty, your radiance is a great... Shining, spectacular miracle. When I see the light in people's faces when they look at you, it makes me realize that I'm the luckiest man in the world and we're the luckiest family in the world. It makes me want to ring the Queen back in London and say, can you hear that, Mummy? Listen to that. It's a hundred decibels louder than anything you ever got. Chew on that. Choke on that. You know, I think this might be the most important conversation we've ever had. Yes. And the solution is so simple. Any time either of us feels like we're not getting what we need, we simply need to give that very thing to the other. Because if you learn anything from today, it's... We both need the same as each other. To be encouraged. To be supported. To be... appreciated. To be loved. Yes. A toast to a fresh start. A new beginning. Happy Easter, my darling.